Today I'm going to show you how to make a pet clock like this one of Harley or like this a fuzzball. Today we're going to be making one of my friend's dog, Cairo. Very nice dog. I have an old clock here that I've actually taken apart already and painted the outside edge black and inside yellow. Now we need to take the clock apart. We're going to take the hands off which are connected to the motor. Usually they just pry up. Okay, and since Cairo is a dark background, I'm going to paint these hands white. I'm going to do that right now so it can be drying. So I painted the hands to the clock and put a little black tips on the edge in case there needs to be some more contrast. And what I need to do is print out the image that I'm going to put on here and there's certain ways you have to do it. The maximum area that my printer will image is 7 and 15 sixteenths and the area of the clock that I need to cover is 8 and sixteenths, 1 sixteenth. So here's the 8 and 1 sixteenth that I need to cover. I want to make it go right inside this edge here. And so I printed this out. This outside line is just for reference. But the inside line, right outside of his image, is 7 and 15 sixteenths from edge to edge. And the 8 and 1 sixteenth is the pencil line that I've drawn here that I need to cut just inside. I also want to mention that I went into Photoshop and lightened the background here just so his face would stick out more and I also brightened up his eyes. So now I'm going to cut that out. Perfect. Now I need to cut out the center, center hole. Okay, let's try this. That is good. Just right. Okay, now I'm going to use some contact cement and glue it down. Okay, so now I've got contact cement on both sides. It's dry. Now I'm going to stick this thing down in the right spot. back on. Just right so they don't hit each other. Okay, so now I'm going to put the inside ring on, then the glass, then the outside ring. 
that my neck rolls. Screw them together. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up.